Hi there, welcome to Craft with Fee. Today I'm going to be showing you uh, my latest make and take kit. It's um, using some products from the new annual catalogue. So let me just show you the products first. I'm going to be stamping with this lovely stamp set called Biggest Wish. Uh, it's got thanks, birthday, happy, hello and friend in two different fonts. So a wonderful set, very handy. Um, and you'll find it in the catalogue on page 63. So here it is here. And they are stamped there in the correct sizes. It's $30. And I'm going to also be using some beautiful designer series paper, which is brand new in this catalogue. It's this one here called Simply Elegant. Now it is a foiled suite um, of paper. It's in the colours of basic black, basic grey, copper, gold, silver and very vanilla. Our copper foiled papers are always more expensive than the normal paper, so these ones are $26 for a pack of 12. But um, the purpose of the project today is that we're going to be making this super simple little card here. And the reason I'm showing you this is I wanted you to see how very little of the designer series paper that you actually need to make a card look amazing. This is a very basic um, modern style card, I would say. Uh, and as I said, it's just using a tiny piece of designer series paper that measures an inch and a half in width by three and three eighths in length. So you can get many of these from one sheet of paper. Uh, so you could do a whole pack of thanks cards to give to somebody or just to use for whatever. Uh, but let me just show you some of the prints in that that paper. They're just beautiful. They're of course they're double sided as our papers usually are, but they don't don't have the foiling on the opposite side. But you can see there's some beautiful, beautiful prints uh, that you can make a feature out of. And as I mentioned, you don't need to use a whole lot. So we're going to make this card. Now, if you um, were a customer of mine in April, you will, if you haven't already received one, you'll be or you will be receiving one of these kits in the mail. So everything is there ready to go. you just got to follow along with this video and you can make yourself one. The other way to have, get one of these for free is if you are a member of mine in my team. All of my team members always get my make and take classes sent to them so that they can play along as well. So I've chosen this little print this time. So we're going to see how that one looks um, against the black. And what you're going to need is a uh, white card base. And my measurements are always the same for my card bases. So I'll pop that in the blog post when I blog about this particular card. You're also going to need a piece of Sahara sand. This piece measures five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. And this is our first layer. Just warm our glue up. Come on, wakey, wakey. There we go. So we just pop the first layer down onto our card. Just get it nice and centered there. Super, super easy. So if you are a beginner card maker, this card is super easy for you to do. You can just sit and have a cutting se session, which is what I've done. I'm going to be making a whole heap of these uh, for an order. And uh, they're all just going to look a little bit different because they're going to have some different designer series paper on them. So then you need a piece of black. Now this is two inches by three and seven eighths. So all you need to do is to pop a bit of our liquid glue onto the back of that. And you can decide whereabouts on the card you want to put it. I'm going with it there. And you'll see that the measurement is the same so that the black lines up beautifully with your Sahara sand. Then we're going to put down a piece of designer series paper. And as I mentioned before, it's an inch and a half by three and three eighths. And that's just going to give you that little pop of colour and give you that that beautiful shimmery look with all of those brushed metals on there. So they're super cute. And so now all we've got left to do is the stamping. And we are going to be using some of our white. Let me just grab a piece. And I've already got mine. Uh, onto my block. I'm going to be using that fancy thanks again because I think that's gorgeous. And probably should have re-inked my black memento, but anyway, we'll go with it. So we're just going to stamp it there like so. Isn't that cute? 
And then we're going to use my little baby stamp cut and a boss machine. So this is the perfect size for your desktop, this one. And we're going to be using a stitched rectangle from the stitched rectangle set. These have been um, in the Stamping Up range for a little while now and they're amazing. You get that little stitched edge around, which is really cool. So I'm just trying to centre that. And then all we do is we run it through our little machine here. And there we go. We just pull it straight out. And there it is. Isn't that sweet? So you already have one in your kit pre-cut, so um, you'll be right to go with that. And now we're going to get some dimensionals. And we're going to pop that up and give it a bit of dimension. I think three will be fine. Okay, and then I'm just gonna center it on the card. Now, you will also have in your set a little piece of our baker's twine. We have a baker's twine essentials pack and it has all of the basic colours in there which coordinate beautifully with the Stamping Up range. So we're going to be using the black and we're just going to make a teeny tiny little bow. Just gives it that little bit extra, even though it's a sort of a plain card. All the little touches like this are make it look a little bit more special. And then of course we'll pop a bit of bling down as well. Oops. Okay. Fiddly little thing. Well, you know what they say, no pain, no gain. Okay, just grab my scissors. And there we go. So that's my little bow. Now let me grab a, a little glue dot. I'm just going to try to get the little tails of my bow to behave themselves. A bit shaky today. I must need either coffee or sugar or both. Okay, so just popping popping our bow onto the glue dot and then I'm just going to pop it there on the side on an angle. And I'm going to use some of the brand new bling from the catalogue. I'm just going to use one piece there, I think. I think that'll do. And there we go. So that is our very super simple thanks card uh, that you, you can make. You can mass produce these, as I mentioned. You get a beautiful classy look in a card for a very little amount of designer series paper. So that's it from me today. I hope you've enjoyed this little class. Chat with you next time. Bye.